Championships from Crystal Palace in London. You're watching on Screen Sport the first of four days coverage, and we start off with the junior final between East London Royal and Brixton Topcats. I'm Mike Carlson. I'll be giving you the play-by-play, -play. and with me is a man who knows both these teams well, Alton Bird. And Alton, there you see the lineup for East London. Well, that lineup is loaded with talented players who play for England under 15, under 17, and under 19. And the two players you ought to watch, number seven, Barry Goose, the captain, who by all accounts, and I've seen him play, is probably the best young point guard prospect in the United Kingdom. And the other is number 14, Chris Erskine, who is a great, great athlete, a three-sport specialist. He plays football, he runs athletically, the 100 meters, one of the fastest in Britain, and he's also a great basketball player. And in number 13, Martin Gore, they've got a big center who's got some mobility. Now we see Brixton Topcats, coached by Paul Ambrosius, and they're a bit younger team, not quite the depth of talent that East London have, but still a pretty useful side. Very useful and very, very quick. They've got a lot of good, young, small players, guys to watch. David Odzikovic, who is their perimeter, their best perimeter shooter, and probably their best perimeter player. And then number 14, Junior Williams, who's also a very good player, good point guard. But the key to this team will be Eddie Ozeyawuzu, <laughs> our man Eddie. Ozeyawuzu. And uh, it should be a good test. And here's the opening tap off. Brixton Topcats playing in black. East London Royals out of Tower Hamlets playing in blue. East London the favorites. Both these teams have gotten past some tough opposition to get here into the final. And that's number 15, Tim Berkowitz at guard. And the ball comes loose to Barry Gooch. And Gooch takes it all the way down and gets fouled. And Barry Gooch, one of the guys you said to look out for. Well, he's very, very quick. He has good court sense. And what I like about him most is he knows how to distribute the ball. He can advance the ball up the floor with long passes. And that's something you don't see in the United Kingdom very often. And Gooch misses the first free throw. And that Eddie Munster haircut is something you don't see in the United Kingdom too often either. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be looking for you at some point soon. <laughs> so the first points of the game to the East London Royals and their captain, Barry Gooch. Now 15 is Tim Berkowitz. I think what you'll find with Brixton, Brixton cannot compete, you know, in terms of athleticism with East London and in terms of size. But uh, what you will find is they'll be much more deliberate and take their time. They turn the ball over again, and it's 14. Chris Erskine, one of the fastest men in Britain, over 100 meters, athlete, nat world-class athlete in more than one sport. It's three nothing for East London Royals. 13, Eddie Azuguozu. Brixton very, very tentative offensively. Right now they're quite happy to stay outside, try and get the ball inside where they're trying to compete with East London size. And I, to be honest, Mike, that isn't going to work. Okay, the ball going off. You see their number 11, Wayne Henry. That's Erskine with the ball. Happy to take it in on, on his own. Rebound to Martin Gore. And Martin Gore, about six foot nine. Center doing a good job underneath. And Brixton have got to get their offense into gear and stop East London from running away with this one. Seems a little bit like they might even be intimidated right off the bat by East London. Well, East London has a great national reputation. They are perennially either the best team or one of the best teams in all of Britain at this age bracket. You saw Erskine blocking that three point attempt. Pass goes through his hands at the other end, though, and back over to Brixton Topcats. Brixton's just got to get a little bit more confident, get a little bit more courageous, and try and make sure that they stay in the flow of what they want to do offensively. They have some great, great young talent on this Brixton ball club. Asaya Wusu passing it in. The ball's deflected away. Nice look by Gooch. And as Richard Thomas goes up for the shot, he's followed by Junior Williams, and he'll go to the line, and Gooch has good vision. That was a quick look off the, well, off the turnover. He's made two good passes, Mike, and, and both of them were from half court to the basket. One went through Erskine's hands. The other one was caught, and he drew a foul. And uh, that's what you like to see in, in terms of point guards, advancing the ball by pass as opposed to by dribble. 
missing the first. And Richard Thomas misses both shots, but the rebound comes back to East London. Gore in the post. Gooch for three. It's off the front of the rim, and now it's a two on one. And Erskine, <laughs> you call that out, he's got some speed. But he just outran that ball that time. And foul on the rebound. Ball goes over to Brixton Topcats. And Junior Williams brings it up. Let's see Adzakovic getting into a little trouble as he tried to set the pick. Berkowitz misses the three. Gooch now on the break, two on one. Looks the other way. Erskine, they're not going to stop him on a layup like that. He's got such great speed, Mike. And, and Gooch there with a look away pass a la Magic Johnson, except without the uh, extra foot <laughs> in terms of height. <laughs> He's been watching screen, the NBA on screen sport or somewhere. <laughs> Okay, 15, Tim Berkowitz. And I think, I think Paul Ambrosius is gonna have to take a time out here just to settle his kids down. They're very, very pensive, very, very, very you know, in awe of East London, and that's what they're gonna need to do, get some shots at the basket. Berkowitz's three-pointer, the first points of the game for Brixton Topcats, 7-3, East London in the lead. Erskine trying to get it into Gore, but it's stolen away by Henry. Aseusu. Aseusu open on the baseline, but misses. Rebound comes off to Patras Gordon, but it's stolen away. Oh, and the pass goes through, and Gooch comes up with it. And again, the look away pass, but it seemed to fool Richard Thomas. Behind the back pass, bounces off Ben Ajo, uh, sorry, bounces off Patrice Gordon. I'm sure my old friend Paul Ambrosius right now is sitting there saying, what are we trying to do here, folks? Oh, yes, please, please. And I really do think he's gonna need to call a timeout fairly shortly, just to settle these kids down and say, hey, this is only East London. We aren't playing the Lakers or the Chicago Bulls. Just play like you normally play. So Patrice Gordon with the three, a little traveling there by Junior Williams. Good first move, one step too many. And Gooch brings it up past Junior Williams. Erskine alone on the layup, and it's 11 to three. I got, to, got to agree with you, it's timeout time. Yeah, it's very surprising because usually Brixton teams, both at senior and junior level, are pressure defense type players because they have so much quickness. This team seems to be laying back, almost uh, trying to be a bit cool about being out here. And you know, if, if they play at that level, East London's gonna beat them by 50. Wayne Henry missing and getting his own rebound. Tim Berkovitz looking underneath for Aseosu. Berkovitz. Gooch again with the long outlet pass. Oh, Richard Thomas, and which has good vision in the leads now, 10, 13, 3. Gore tips that pass away. Brixton unable to get the ball within six feet of the basket at all. That size is obviously intimidating them and on their penetration, they're all leaving their feet, trying to make passes and you just can't do that. Here's that replay, Mike, of Gucci's ability to get the ball up the floor. That's a pass that's 45, 50 feet long, and that gets him an easy basket. Right on target, gets Richard Thomas in stride.